Welcome back. We have Stork against Symbol now. This is the losers match. So uh, whoever loses this best of three, their story for this season of Code S ends. Map one is going to be Frost. Yeah. I'm with Artosis. It's this is the round of 32. No, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> it's Wednesday here in Korea. Wednesday here in Korea. The temperature is. I think it's around 8 p.m. or so. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure. Don't have my uh, phone on right now, but my favorite color is red. Yeah. It's uh, it's a beautiful day outside. Probably it still a beautiful day. I don't think it's it a beautiful rain. day. I wore a t-shirt to work today. Yeah. It's a nice t-shirt, too. Come on. Thank you. I like it when you have new t-shirts. You always have very good taste in t-shirts. I got good taste in t-shirts. Yeah. I have okay taste, I think, but you have really good taste. It's one of my skills. Yeah. You have healing magic, so it's okay. <laughs> we'll make it through right. this quest together. <laughs> Now, uh, <laughs> who's worth healing if they're not wearing a nice T-shirt? That's true. That's the thing. That's the. That's a I great can't philosophy. even get out of bed to heal people in the morning without <laughs> a good T-shirt. Yeah. All right, let's start this it's best of three days. here. I hope it's Stork, days. old school from Brood War, one of the very, very best. Now here in StarCraft 2 against like the veteran symbol, one of the best Zergs of all time. Down here in the bottom right, one of the people I used to look up to back in my Brood War days, he is Samsung Galaxy Khan Stork, Song Byung-gu. Lots, lots of fans, here, fans down here, yeah. He is a legend. One of the best players of all time. No, I love him more, fans. <laughs> all right, and up here uh, in the upper right, our only Zerg today, he is Symbol, Kang dong -yang. Can't wait for after the show today when I get to give Stork that paper plate with the macaroni I glued to it to him. Yeah. I can't wait either. Yeah. I can't wait until you have me take a photo of you two together and say, oh, yeah, I got it. And then I didn't take it at all. And I'm like, idiot. Look, he's you having idiot. a code I'll just never see him again. <laughs> <laughs> you ruined it. Shut up, Tasteless. <laughs> God, I hate you, Tasteless. God, I'm so sick of you. God damn it, Tasteless. All right, so nice little scout there by uh, Stork checking if the Overlord was coming from the north. And uh, it was, so he knows exactly yep. where he is with this Nexus first opener into a gateway. So very, very greedy, but this is the best counter to it. Double hatch before pull. Ooh. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Uh, we got the third hatchery coming up over here. Hmm. And, what would uh, happen no, if, like, we'll um, someone like Stork, like, let's say that Stork is playing his first time in Code S. I think he was in Code S last season one. Oh, wait, actually, I think that was uh, technically OSL that he was in. So I think this actually might be his first Wait, Code I S. think he wasn't. No. He was definitely in the OSL, if I recall correctly. Uh, but I don't know if he, I think he I know, didn't I don't, make I don't, an actual. I don't, I don't think he was in Code S last season. Yeah, I, I think it, he technically hasn't been in a GSL Code S. Uh, but he's been in like the Premier League of Korea before. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure now. But anyways, let's say, let's say for the sake of argument, he hasn't actually been in a GSL Code S. If he were to win this season, would we actually have the audacity to call him a Royal Rotor? <laughs> oh God. <that laughs> when we, he's won so many like titles in StarCraft that, yeah. 1. <clears throat> that would be like, that would be a really weird, weird, that would be, I couldn't, if I was Stork and you tried to give me the, yeah. the prize or whatever for being a Royal Rotor, I'd be like, Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. Do you know who the hell I am? I'm Stork. Yeah. And they would take that Royal Rotor sword and they would fall on it because they'd be so embarrassed. He would look at you and you just turn to stone. Yeah. Well, he's you not. You turn into a pillar of salt and then. And then Tasteless eats you with fried chicken. I dip I dip a, a, a big bready pretzel in that and I eat that. Oh, yeah. All right. We have a quick twilight coming out here from Stork. Yep. That is a rather fast one indeed. And the Nexus is uh, up and running. He's going to be mining from that for a little bit here. But remember, we saw Symbol um, in the other game against Ruin, the other series, I should say, against Ruin, opt for a lot of lings early on to keep the Protoss from getting a third base, uh, or at least forcing a cancel and getting the third base later. Mm. I don't know if we're going to have that here, but that seems to be his route. There's a Christmas tree down there. It is tis the season, Tasteless. I think there are even presents under it. 
Oh my god, a quick DT rush. We don't see this in PvZ very often anymore. There's four presents under there. Well, unfortunately, there's no way to get down there. I don't think even a Reaper can jump down there. Wow. Well, here comes the Overlord, but it doesn't look like it's going to get over there in time to see this. Certainly not. <laughs> no real information on Whoa, that being was close. Yet. Excuse me. Drives that Ling out. Now, we don't actually have a probe on the map, do we? No. So um, he's going to have to like nope, send his stalker out front and send a probe right now. Uh, clear that those lings out of the way. Uh, well, I guess there's only one ling in front of his base. But if he can clear that ling, get a probe up there, this DT rush actually has the potential to do damage. But there is a spore on the way. So it doesn't look like uh, Symbol's playing too, too greedily. And that's a great spore placement right there. That would be the first place for Stargate units to hit. And at least blocks one base from DT harassment. Oh, there's the... No, no. He's already spotted it. Whoa. Canceled there. And making more drones. <coughs> okay. Uh, Excuse me. I think the reason for this is because he saw the probe come over. Because he sees the probe come over and cancels it because he's like, oh, you're taking a third base, obviously. You don't know that I have a Zerkman This is ramp. super uh, mind gamey here. A mm. lot of lings on the way. DT's walking up the map right now, though, and uh, there's only one Spore, so definitely, especially... Oh, okay, he starts to sing a Spore, probably at third base. Yeah, there it is. Okay, but uh, because he canceled that lair, these DTs have potential to do some significant damage. Okay, here comes that first DT now. Oh! Blocked! Wow. Shut that down. The second DT backs up. There should be a third over at the uh, third base for the Zerg. Four kills. So he's lost one DT, gotten five... So far, so far, these uh, DTs have not paid for themselves yet. No, not yet. <coughs> not quite good enough yet. And, uh, you know, he kind of misses out on something as well. Uh, there's, like, if if your opponent goes DTs and they don't do a lot, you just follow up with some overseers and a bunch of speed roaches. You can just kill them, like, almost all the time because you're up by, like, 40 supply <laughs> a lot of the time because, like, DT tech is so expensive to get out. Uh, and that's like something that very few Protosses, if they did no damage, can actually live through. But because he canceled that layer, uh, there's no, and I mean, he's not even really going for Roach yet. Uh, obviously, just has links at the moment. Can't really uh, capitalize as much as he would like to. Yeah. Um, <coughs> excuse me. It could be the <coughs> horse in my throat. Frog in my throat. My, my voice is horse, there's a frog in my throat. Um, <laughs> all sorts of animals. All sorts of, yeah, the whole kingdom. Um, well, the fourth base uh, is being taken right down here. Let's see if uh, Stork can actually put on enough pressure to to stop this. I mean, Blink is just now finishing up. The defense there at the third yeah. is really nice, so Lings alone aren't going to be able to do that much. You know, it's kind of interesting because he has two Archons, so these Lings are, like, pretty garbage next to that. He really yeah. needs a lot of Roaches Especially, to those down. Yeah, I mean, he can angle it pretty nicely, and everything should work out just fine. He is coming up here. Uh, and actually take another pylon right up here on the high ground. This is a really good location. In fact, this could Wow, those are really here. fantastic force yeah. fields for right now. They're really slowing those roaches down, allowing them to clean up a lot of lings. The lings coming up from the other side. And a good time warp as well, just kind of slowing everything down so his Archons can get their damage in. He gets that next Stalker warp in now. He wants to be sure not to lose those Archons, though. One Ooh. Archon does go down. He regroups. He needs to make sure that Archon is not picked off there, or Lings are going to be just uh, too strong. He lost his Mothership core as well, but he does have Blink now, and he's facing off against just Roaches. He killed, like, over 35 Lings during that. Those Archons really worth their weight in gold here. Uh, he's warping in more Stalkers. Looks like he's going to go up on the high ground for the time being. Just at least stop these drones from mining here. Mm -hmm. Even that's gets that spore crawler, so you know you have to be wary. One there DT. could be a DT. Oh, that's, yep, and that's exactly what he warped in wow. there. Nicely done. One DT adds a ton of damage output to a situation like yeah, this. The problem though is that he doesn't have a lot of places to blink away from. So mm -hmm. um, if the Zerg is to overwhelm him here, he's going to get stuck up in that one location. But for the time being, he doesn't. He's not overwhelmed. <clears throat> Well, this uh, DT going to go over and start hit, hitting the drones a little bit. They are going to run all the way out of here now. So the economy of Symbol has been hurt quite a bit. And Stork's push does continue. All right. Is he going to keep hitting these uh, drones right now? He's definitely ship clicked very well. But more Lings and uh, Road just come up here. Losing very few stalkers at the moment is Stork. But this is a lot of speed Lings coming up to help out. They do have plus one carapace at the moment as well. Actually, that doesn't matter though because plus two finished for Protoss. Well, so far, uh, so good here for Symbol. Symbol's playing very, very well. 
Yeah, but I feel like Stork's attack did a pretty good job, you know? It was uh, good, yeah. He ended up killing off a, a decent amount of drones. Like, he's killed, uh, I think, 16 drones so far. It's 54 drones to 71 probes at the moment, and he has a third base up. Third base just starting to mine again for symbols, so I really quite like the position of Stork here. He's played a pretty strong game, despite the fact that his, his DT tech didn't really do all that much. I guess it helped out more during the second battle, but still. Well, uh, the attacks coming up over here. You gotta ask yourself if Sybil's overextending here with the Immortal over here in the corner. Oh, wow, that's too bad. I thought he was gonna be able to get around uh, that Stalker. But at the same time, blinking right on these roaches, just tearing all these roaches apart. Some links coming Sybil, up as well. Sybil way overextending here. I mean, wow. You know, I think he feels a little bit helpless here after taking that damage early on. The fact that Stork has like that's, an insane economy. That's not a, a move I'm used to seeing Sybil do. Yeah. That's not the symbol I'm used to casting here. Note Symbol is not using that fourth base. It looks like he was, for the time being, just keeping that as a place to produce attacking units. Mm. Which means uh, Storkus is getting a huge lead right now. Well, the uh, one nice thing for Symbol, though, <laughs> is that he is getting 2-2. He's going to have Burrow and Burrow movement, yes. so we'll see what he can get done with that. He can do a lot of shenanigans with Burrow and Burrow movement. Yeah, and uh, he is getting the Infestation Pit, so we'll see what he wants to go for with this. Like, do you think he's going to go Swarm Host or maybe Tech Up to Hive? Um, you know, I mean, he could here, even go for Fungal Growth, but uh, I, that's the one I see as pretty unlikely I think he's probably going right to end here. up in Swarm Hosts, but... Okay. I mean, not too bad if your we'll opponent's really focusing on Blink Stalkers. You can I think if he takes up the Hive, it, uh, Protoss is just going to get too much of a lead. Oh, he actually is going for Fungal. Okay. Okay. So getting those pathogen lands. Well, there's a lot of Stalkers out. Fungal is going to be very helpful uh, against that. If, if you hold things down, it's pretty awesome. And the thing is, Infestors are still insane. They just aren't... Broken free wins anymore. You have to actually yeah. uh, use them cleverly. But uh, definitely can be very useful here. Now, we do have this attack moving up from Stork towards Symbol's fourth. That fourth base, I don't think he'll even fight for it. This army is like pretty weak. Yeah, he'll probably just drop it. Looks like a single Zealot going towards the third, whereas these four get dropped off in the main, or uh, the natural rather. And this is going to allow him to hit the fourth. This is a really well orchestrated uh, set of harassments and attacks. All right, the hatchery goes down uncontested. And let's see if he goes any further. I think he could actually keep attacking here. Mm. Even that little uh, harass back there by Symbol uh, to try to get some of the army to turn around wasn't that good. There was already a pylon on the high ground, so the warp in there was very easily executed. <clears throat> right now, uh, we do have counterattack going on by Symbol. Uh, counter harassment more like with a handful of roaches. But that is being dealt with over at the third base of Stork. So he will continue to move in here. Blinks forward. Very aggressive blink. But he does have three sentries, and this is a very narrow area. All right, here come those links now. Really nice force fields, by the way. The fungal not going to do anything, really. Uh, deals a little bit of damage, I think that's this it. this game is, uh, yeah. is over. GG. Yeah. All right, so uh, Stork going to take that first one. Strong play. Uh, the DT rush not really doing anything, but you know, the no, tech no. route that Symbol had chosen, he couldn't immediately punish. And if you don't immediately punish, because you have no mobile detection, then Stork can do something like take a very quick third base and line up another attack. You know, I gotta say, um, normally when you see a build where they go DTs like that, the DTs don't do that much. Yeah. The Protoss is at a pretty big disadvantage, but mm -hmm. uh, Stork handled that very well. Yeah, it, it kind of just worked out for him because if Symbol hadn't canceled the lair, then suddenly he can go right into like Speed Roaches plus Overseer and hit yeah. the third base before he's ready, but instead, he decided to more heavily commit into the Zerglings and cancel that layer and go for economy as well. And the, the thing is, he spent so much on Zerglings that with that DT tech, the couple of Archons were worth a ton in that attack. Yeah, and of course, he, he was just able, even with the small surface area, to get mostly the Stalkers taking the damage while the Archons are blasting back there. And even when Symbol finally held up that attack, I mean, he had no operational fourth base. Stork comfortably took his own fourth base. Stork just yeah. played really well. A uh, symbol picks the map overgrowth. Yeah, that's going to be a common trend this year. Overgrowth, uh, that's what Zergs choose. That's the Zerg map. Well, he Zergs did win always here. have that map. Yeah. Every season they're like, all right, well, this is the map all the Zergs are going for. There's Pretty one or much. two of them at least. Uh, you know, symbol did win on this map against Ruin earlier uh, with some really nice aggressive play, even though Ruin defended quite well. So. We'll see what Stork goes for. I feel like he might want to hit a timing attack here. Let's see what happens. It's 1 0 right now. Stork in the lead. Simple needs to turn this around or he's out. The GSL Codex.